What is going on guys and girls of YouTube and welcome back to the Versatorix Gaming Channel. Today we have another ETS video on the heavy haulage profile. We are taking an asphalt miller, it's roughly about 40, 44 tons, something like that. And we're taking it in the Scania 2009 Streamline. It is going to be a journey from Herning in Denmark all the way over to Manchester in Great Britain. And I am looking forward to this one. It is a big, big machine this. And I, I would love to see one of these actually working in the flesh. Anyway, let's get into the game, shall we? So here we are, back in the game. Euro Truck Simulator 2, the Scania R730 Streamline. Taking this asphalt miller from Herning in Denmark to Manchester. It's going to take less time than an hour and 15. It says an hour and 15 in the bottom corner here, but I can almost certainly say... It is not going to take an hour and 15 minutes. We are in the streamline. I don't think I've ever drove the streamline. Thinking about it, I think I've always drove the the other one, the Sport. Is it that heavy? That heavy that we can't pull it off like this. Right, how do I get out of it this way? So I have adjusted the the sound ever so slightly in the hopes of making it a little bit uh, better for you guys on YouTube because I know it can get quite loud the engine noise. So I've dropped that ever so slightly. Just so it's not such a drone going on for you. You'll have to let me know if you actually prefer it like that or not. I crashed it already, haven't I? I'm going to just take this sign out. Dot it. There you go. I can't believe I've crashed it already. What an idiot. What an absolute wet lettuce to crash it there. Unbelievable. Okay, we're going now. Now we are very close to the dash, it's not something I like, but with the way the game's been playing up, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to make things, potentially give things a chance to freeze, you know what I mean, like the fact we're actually driving now, this has took me four attempts so far just to start driving this, this is the furthest I've got so far, that's how bad the crashing has been. And I'm not sure, one of the mods is causing it, but I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, that's how that wheel... I've just looked at the back of that, I see now how it goes around corners. Would have been handy for me to realise that to begin with. And the asphalt miller is 44 tonnes. I want to I want to go out so that we can see the asphalt miller in all its glory, but I'm worried that it's gonna freeze if I do that. Look at that bad boy. That is sick. We got roadworks going on here. We have got roadworks going on here. So, has anyone, everyone been enjoying their day so far? Obviously, this has been released at 5am UK time. 5am UK time, 5pm UK time. Have you all had a very good day at school, at work, at whatever it is you are doing? Have you had a good day? 
and what have you got planned tomorrow? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Let me know what you are doing tomorrow. And you'll also have to let me know if you still want... Is he just going for an overtake straight away? He did go for an overtake straight away. I mean, fair play. There was nothing coming like, but... Even so... We are very slow pulling this, <laughs> which at 44 tons you should be, but Jesus. Turbo must be at full whack doing this. Of course you're turning. We have actually got a session where it is not dark and it is not raining. I am shocked. This is unprecedented. You can see my seat is definitely not in the right place though. So. Oh shit, we're not here. Whose was heavier then? His cargo or my cargo? It's got to be my cargo, surely. Mine's 44 tons. Like, how often do you see 44 tons being transported down the road? That's no mean feat, you know what I mean? 44 tons. I have a feeling I shouldn't even be going this high of my sp this high of a speed, 76. Because this thing's not going to be easy to stop, is it? Right, so we are turning here, so we'll stop. Take it past it and bring it round like that. That's probably the best way of doing this. terminal. I do think we're going to have to change our driving position ever so slightly. I don't like how close we are to the dash. Not helping. I, can't, I feel like I can't see anything properly. over to Hull and then we will be on to the British part of the trip from Hull to Manchester we are going to quickly while here do the wing mirrors I know I said I didn't want to do this just in case it freezes things but I just I have to I can't see properly yeah I normally sit at 80 That'll do. I feel like we should probably go over, but then we're not central to the wheel, are we? Maybe we can swivel my head ever so slightly. That'll do. Right then. Let's get on with the journey. We're driving on the left in the UK. There's nothing coming that way, so. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, 
say that. That's it, on the way to Hull, uh, Manchester. We're in Hull. Why is it dragging me one way? Dragging me to the left? That feels weird it's doing that. Beautiful. B E I beautiful. This gun is pulling this like like it's three tons, it's just pulling it so well. So much better than I was expecting, you know what I mean? I was expecting it to be a lot worse than what it is. I was really expecting a really long slog of a drive, but no, this thing is like, this thing is so happy to pull it. So, so happy to pull it. So you might have seen you might think that uh, ETS videos, ATS videos are going to be a little scarce this week. And that is purely down to the fact that I've been playing a brand new MOBA. I have been playing the MOBA Paragon, the Oba Prime. It's just come out into its final test. It is superb. I am really enjoying myself on it. I'm not very good at it. In fact, I'm dreadful at it. And I'm playing a role I didn't, I never played in Smite. I never played mid in Smite. And I'm playing mid in in, uh, in Paragon, that's insane to me. I've never played mid. I don't play mid. <laughs> so, yeah, it's quite it's quite interesting. I've um, I've been playing a hero called what's the hero called? Gideon. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think he's brilliant. I love him. I want to try out Pulse. I think her name's Pulse or something like that. Um, I've played. The one with the rifle as well in mid. And I, I am thoroughly enjoying myself. I think it's a, a top top quality MOBA and I, I'm gonna try and play some more. I'm gonna try it to a, try to play it and get to a point where I can actually do videos for you guys, because I reckon once we get videos for it, I think it'll be awesome. I just looked down at my thing and I was like, oh, I'm over 60 miles an hour, and I just realised I'm not. That's in kilometres. <laughs> it's because I'm getting thrown out by the fact that the the speedos saying 50, 50 and 60 mile an hour, and I know I'm meant to be in kilometres. Surely we're taking a left here. But yeah, if you if you follow me on Twitter, uh, the Twitter handle is in the description. If you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen that I've been playing uh, some Paragon. I've also been playing a bit more Football Manager since the new one came out, the Football Manager 2023. It's out of the beta mode now, so we've started a Youth Academy save with Churro City, which is superb. I'm actually really enjoying it. My mate is also doing one as well, which is, uh, he's doing a youth academy, except we, we laugh actually, because he's a bit more of a, uh, a noob than what I am. So I've played the game for the last, oh, I've played it since 2009, I think was the first one I started playing on. Do you know what I mean? Like I've been playing 13, 14 years. He brought last year's, didn't really play much of it, but he brought it and he had a little play around with it. And this year he's brought the new one and he's decided he's going to give it a proper go. And by giving it a proper go, he's started a Youth Academy save. He also got Churro City 
as one of the uh, clubs he could choose. So he decided to go with Choro as well. And he, he I think, I think it's sort of becoming a bit of a, a bit of a co friendly competition between the both of us. Who can, who can do the best with Choro? I've managed to survive the first season quite comfortably in the end. I, I mean, it got hairy towards the towards the mid section of the season, but um, the mid to late section of the season. But we managed to survive quite comfortably. He's currently in a relegation dogfight, although he is only, I think he's only something like 15, 16 games in. He's already been threatened with uh, potentially being sacked, but then I got I got that as well in my first season. So if he manages to survive it, being a complete noob, like he doesn't know properly how to do any of the tactics or anything like that, if he survives it, fair play to him. That is some good going when he doesn't really know what he's doing. And I, like he keeps sending me messages about it, and I, I I love seeing the support. I love supporting him. I love seeing how happy he is when he uh, when he gets a really good result or something like that. I think he's definitely got the football manager book now, <laughs> and it's great to see. I'm glad to see there's a, there's another football manager player in my in my friend group because um, I'm the only one that plays football manager, even though we all love football. Like most of us like football in the group, so. Most of us love football, so it's nice to have some, but they're all FIFA players, and FIFA boards the hell out of me, so I was very, very glad to see that uh, he's took up the football manager mantle. I just hope it doesn't ruin his life. I hope he doesn't get really addicted to it, because it is really addictive to anyone that has played football manager. They know how addictive it can be. So I'm hoping he doesn't uh, fall down that trap too uh, too badly. But we shall we sh we shall see how he gets on. burp again. There we go, that's how you do it. Right, we gotta get up this, we gotta get up this. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, really pull it. Go on, Scania. Go on. Good girl. Good girl. That was no issue at all for this. This little 730, this, oh, I say little, this big 730 is growing on me. It is really growing on me. I'm <laughs> I love it. Motorbike going past. How often do you see them in ETS? Apologies, I'll just come into your lane, mate. We have roughly five minutes left of this journey. And what a journey it's been, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've enjoyed seeing what this uh, this scan you can do. We are going over into that lane again though. So we've got to be careful of that. We've got to be careful we don't go over 100 kilometers an hour here while, while we bomb about. We're not going to because we are coming up here to head towards Manchester. We are on the final stretch of the journey. Oh, you're just going to have to stay behind me, mate, because I need both lanes. I probably shouldn't need both lanes, but I do. <laughs> go. 94 kilometers left to go. We are on the M62. The M62.
I gotta be careful, you know. I keep drifting across into that right hand lane. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't normally. Don't normally have issues doing that. I don't know why I'm doing it so much today. So, I'm hoping that for tomorrow's episode, you're going to get a Paragon video. I'm hoping. If not, I don't really want to do another, eight, I don't really want to do an ATS video straight after an ETS video. But, I may have to. So, we'll, ha we'll have to see. I'm hoping it's going to be a Paragon video if I can get one. Obviously, the gameplay is not going to be top quality because I'm not the best Paragon player. Not by any means. I'm nowhere near. Like, I'm awful. But I think it'd be fun to have a different MOBA to Smite on here. I mean, worst comes to worst, we'll just put Smite on again. Or we'll just put an ATS video in. Or maybe we'll go into car dealership sim and uh, do another episode of that. That might be interesting. Maybe just focus on sales. We're not allowed to like... We're not allowed to... Do like... The garage stuff. The uh... The mopping. The... The... Car wash. And the... Oh, what's it called? The, uh, the wheels that we have to do when you have to do the wheels. That might be that might be an interesting rule to say to do. That was better. That was well driven. Oh god, it's going to be really... I just felt the way it tips. Just off doing that little sharp turn then. Definitely going to need to make sure we don't roll this because it will go very easily. And we're only... We're literally two kilometres away from where we need to be. So let's not roll it right to the bloody end, shall we actually? Right, boy, just go past again. That motorbike, it is a motorbike coming next to us. I love the way these, I love the, the, the new traffic mod I put in. Look at that little spar, little spar kango. That's sick. That's definitely not base game, is it? <laughs> In the Jeep, the British gas van. Brilliant. I didn't realise I was ahead of the spa van then. Jesus. 
You see that then? How bloody dangerous that was. Unbelievable. But they want this reversed in, don't they? They do want it reversed in course, they do. You ready to watch me fail completely or reversing again? No, it's even telling me. You can skip if you want, mate. We know you're awful at it. Right. We are going to attempt it. Don't sod this. You've embarrassed yourself enough on YouTube. You don't need to embarrass yourself anymore. I mean, I'm not quite in the spot properly. But, but, you have to remember, in fact, yeah, I'm not in the pro... It's come out of it. I'm not... I'm not the best at reverse parking, but you've got to admit, the way I've turned that in and reversed it back, okay, I'm not perfectly in, but I didn't use this camera to look behind me. I did it all based off the camera inside. You know what I mean? I did it all off this. I think I can be proud of that. Let's drop the, let's drop the load. I think we can be proud of that. I'm improving, obviously. <laughs> there you go, nice 421 experience. Puts us into level 3. And we're going to carry on. We're going to go for the... We'll just get explosives, sod it. Email. We can help you grow. Your credit limit has been raised to 500,000. Wow, 500,000. I could buy a truck, but I'm not going to. This is going to end the video, though, so I hope you have enjoyed it. Please drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more, leave a comment. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you tomorrow for whatever it is I decide to upload. Have a good one, guys.